Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Tabasco themed items. We have Aunt Sally's Creamy Pralines, Sugar and Spice, but you can see it has the Tabasco logo. And then we're also going to tr be trying this uh, Tabasco brand Cinnamon Lollipop. The reason I'm showing them to you right now is because Kevin is going to break this all to pieces so that we can try it in a smaller hunk. But I wanted you to be able to see it close up. I'll go ahead and give you the prices. The price of this was $2.49 and the price of the lollipop was a dollar ninety nine. I found these at an odd place. It was it's a uh, Charlie's uh, Meats in Lexington. Um, so I don't know. You're gonna have to leave comments below and let people know if you've seen these before, where you've seen them. But uh, let us give us a second to break this up, and we'll be right back. So Kevin broke the sucker. I to, banged it to that. He did, but it stayed in the package. It did. It's really. You thick. can go ahead and pour it out if you want to. Um, this is freshly made Aunt Sally's Creamy Pralines out of New Orleans. It is sugar and spice, it says, and you can go to their website and find this. Um, it is uh, www.auntsallys.com. It says, like call cinnamon. the praline hotline. It is cinnamon. It's a cinnamon lollipop. Oh, call the praline <laughs> hotline for fresh pralines delivered directly to your door. Uh, when in New Orleans, please visit our store at 810... Decatur Street in the historic French market um, or visit our website. So that is cool that they're located uh, in the, uh, the French market. I get, I bet they get a lot of business from uh, tourists uh, going down there. Uh, so this is uh, 200 calories for one piece. And um, I've never known how to pronounce this company. Because I've never seen commercials for it. The Tabasco Company, it's Mc, Michelini. It's M C like I L L H E N N Y. Something like that. Mc, I don't know how to pronounce it at all. I won't even pretend. Uh, but they are, um, I believe they're a Louisiana company as well. Now, how do you want to split that up? The whole thing's 200 calories. Um, like I said. Mm, it smells Very really soft. good, but it actually has Tabasco brand uh, pepper sauce in the praline. So, and they have these, I went to their website, they actually have these on their website, uh, the sugar and spice, and I'm thinking you could get a box of like, I don't know, 12, so maybe what happened was where I bought these, Uncle Charlie's Meats, maybe they bought some boxes or something, and then they're selling them separately. So... Even this, this was two forty nine. They might be cheaper when you buy them in New Orleans. What, what am I trying here? This. Mm -hmm. I love the texture. It's kind of okay. like um, it's kind of like brown sugar, that grainy, sugary mm -hmm. texture, but it's all in a big lump, mm -hmm. like a squishy lump of. Sugar. <laughs> I could eat a lot of that. Um, it took me a minute to get the Tabasco. Yeah, it's just the heat kind I of got the down. Yes, I got the heat afterwards. Yeah. After, so I didn't get it while I was chewing at all, really. It's, it's just a very pleasurable texture because like Kevin said, it's like a brown, a packed brown sugar mm -hmm. and your teeth are just like grinding through that yeah. and it's just so good. It's good. And the um, pralines are really, really soft. The pecans? Uh, yeah, those the those pecans are, are wonderful. Yeah. They had a, a terrific texture to mm -hmm. it. But now the heat comes in once you swallow. You do get a heat, but it's not like it t even tingles. No, those atomic fireballs are hotter than that. Yes. So, so you know it's in there, but it's not overwhelming no, at all. No, it's not strong. No. So let's try this. Uh, how do you want to try this I'm cinnamon? Just trying, trying get you this is the, the lollipop, and it's supposed to be cinnamon anyway. I love that. I love cinnamon. This is the kind of cinnamon I like. I like cinnamon candy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like it in baking, but I really like it in candy. I'm a huge fan of Atomic Fireballs and Red Hots. Um, when I was little bitty, I can remember 
going to the corner store and getting those little boxes of Red Hots. I mean, I, little discs. Oh yeah, I was I was young getting those. Um, I just always liked that cinnamon flavor. That is very good. Those are good. The sucker itself is sticky, mm -hmm. so it's a really sticky, sugary. Even when I've usually when you you've had it in your mouth a little while, your your saliva, for lack of a better word. Um, cleans off the stickiness from the outside. Mm -hmm. This thing's sticky all the way through. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in the middle. I still have it. It's very good though. Yeah. Still, it's good. yeah. Um, um, I like the cinnamon though, and it's not. I wouldn't, honestly, if they had not told me it had Tabasco in it, I wouldn't know. know. Because it just, it honestly just tastes like a cinnamon yeah. sacrifice. Does it remind you of a um, cinnamon Jolly Rancher a little bit? Yes, and I, that's another one. I love cinnamon Jolly mm -hmm. Ranchers. Um, and that's something that normally, I don't know if it's because of allergies or what, but normally when you buy a bag of Jolly Ranchers, you don't always get the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. um, so You have to buy them like separate. Yeah, <laughs> and when we were kids, they used to put them in there. Mm -hmm. They were in the mix. So both of these are very, very good. Mm -hmm. I bought them both because of the Tabasco name. They even had, they had a display there of all these Tabasco items. So they even had like that, that same name, brand on the uh these uh wood chips that you put on the grill oh i can't and imagine them doing much i don't know i don't know what that would do for your grill i know some people really like buying the the scented or yeah you know, but i don't know if that smoked wood would really give it a tabasco right flavor. well they had that too plus they, they had they had like little uh, gift sets of the little bitty bottles. Kind of like you get in an MRE. Yes, like an, just <laughs> like an MRE, and you could put them in a stocking stuffer. And of course, they had great full size bottles and everything. So I'm sorry that I don't know how to pronounce the name, but like I said, I've never seen a commercial for them, so I just don't know. Um, uh, but both of these are very mm -hmm. good. They're very good. Um, I would, yeah, I would be happy to get either one of these. And if you are in New Orleans um, and you've ever been to Aunt Sally's, let us know what it's like. I can imagine it smells wonderful in there. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.